For the past 20 years, we've heard a ton about illegal immigration. Illegal aliens entering our country. Especially in the 2016 campaign. But since then, we've also heard a lot of negative things about legal immigration, too. Protect the nuclear family by ending chain migration. So if the immigration controversy isn't about legal or illegal, then what's really going on? Maybe the immigration debate isn't really about how people are coming, but who. Let's take a look at our history and how we got here. From the 1920s to the early 1960s, our immigration system prioritized white immigrants over immigrants of color. With 70% of visas reserved for Ireland, Germany, and the United Kingdom. If you were Asian, for example, you were basically banned from immigrating to the United States. But during the Civil Rights Movement, a series of laws were passed to correct this racist system. The 1965 Immigration and Nationality Act introduced a preference for family reunification, known by some as the derogatory term chain migration, over a priority of national origin. This means that family relationships help determine immigration in a more important way. Just ask Melania Trump, whose parents became legal permanent residents, most likely from this very policy. Due to the Immigration and Nationality Act, the immigrant population has become much more diverse in the last 50 years. With a way higher representation of immigrants from Asia, Central, and South America. This has, of course, shifted our country's demographics too. When we hear negative language about immigrants, it's a reflection of our country's anxiety about these big demographic shifts. People being scared of change is normal, but anti-immigrant hate groups have stoked these fears to an all-out panic. So given the facts, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Trump is suggesting we limit legal immigration from non-white countries. His reportedly vulgar dismissal of African countries as incapable of providing worthy immigrants to the United States it's a return to the policies of the 1920s, and it's based in fear. Not facts. Most Americans are descended from immigrants, people who left their homes because they believed in the American dream. Today's immigrants also bring those dreams, and they bring that strength to our country. This debate isn't really about the economy or immigration law. It's always been about who we want to include in the American story. It's about how we want to define ourselves. How do you define American? 